I don't know, man. If I were homeless in February in the northeastern U.S., I'd be open to any kind of coat. Hey, I'm currently homeless and my only jacket was stolen the other night. If anyone has a black leather jacket, preferably large, that would be huge. These are the styles I like. Thanks so much, I can come pick it up. I don't care what style you like. I can give you something that I don't use anymore for sure, but I don't care what style you're into, man. 11 hour days for 400 bucks a week. I need an in-house babysitter. Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. Must be able to show up at 5 a.m. and stay until 4 p.m. I live in the Who Cares neighborhood. 400 bucks a week. Must be reliable and with, sorry, not with good infants, good with infants. My son is 11 months. Good luck on that one. Anyone interested? Please read carefully before responding. I'm looking for a babysitter that I can underpay and overwork as much as humanly freaking possible. Oh, oops, that's totally not what it says. Anyway, I'm looking for a babysitter for my six-year-old daughter. Must have references and transportation. The hours are 10.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Maybe less, depends on rotation. A hundred a week. You'll have access to the internet if you are a student. She'll be asleep when you get there. You will be the adult in the house and get, what, what do you mean you'll be the adult in the house? Are you not there overnight? It's quite a list for delivery only. Oh my God. Ask, we lost our food stamps for a month because I had trouble getting a copy of my check stubs for DHS. And by the time I turned it in, they closed my case. So I reapplied, but have they said it's gonna take at least 30 days to reinstate it? I could not find a ride to Salvation Army to get food Friday, so we're out of the following foods, and if you have any foods to donate to our family, we would be grateful for the help this week. We'll need delivered as no transportation. We have food allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, Jack's cheese original. Oh, I see, you just instantly went into the list. Um, yeah, you're getting real specific there. You're getting real specific. I'm sorry, if you're asking people to donate food to you, totally normal. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, we're in a tough spot. If you got any extra food, that would be sick. But it seems a little... A little lame that you're getting all specific about brands and stuff as well. Oreo original cookies. Why the hell you need cookies? You don't. Look, if I got some, I'll definitely give some to you. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to find you Fago Cola or rainbow whole baked goldfish. What does it matter if they're rainbow ones or not? It, what? Or look, Farmington Hills roast beef. No, I'm sorry, I could stay here all day. We gotta keep going. This is not the way to get someone for Valentine's Day. Taking Valentine's applications. Respect TikTok guidelines. Ideally from any of these, or Scandinavian, must be five foot two. Well, hold on a minute. I know what you're talking about there. Must be five foot two to five foot eight and under 50 kilo. What? Willingly will cook. No male friends. Will not talk back and be silent when we argue. That's not how arguing works. Good relationship with her dad. What's that mean, dude? No smoking or vaping. Will wear sensible clothes. You are going to be alone forever. Hi, is this available? Yes, are you still interested? Yep, can you drop it off today? Oh, no drop-offs, man, pick up only. Why? Because it's free. So what? I guess go f yourself? Went from zero to 100% overboard. Would you trade for a 500 gigabyte PS4? PS4 is in good condition and works perfect. Comes with controller and Red Dead 2. Oh, and $50 cash. Sorry, you know, I need cash for bills. Yes, you either sell to me or you get killed. Well, definitely a no now. This job advert. It gets worse the further down you read. Love the up to minimum wage part. Let's see. Something to 4 a.m., okay? You'll be required to work until we finish clean down, which is around 5. Uh, okay. New Year's Eve is also a must work, so if you're a, So if you're unable to- I can't read today. Unable to work, you'll be unsuccessful in your application. Full training will be provided. Ooh, hooray! That's the bare goddamn minimum for any job. Job types. Part-time, permanent, okay? Salary, up to 950 an hour. Yep, hope you go out of business. Someone please give me spaghetti. Hi everyone, can someone please help me with ingredients to make spaghetti? Literally all of it? Okay. A photographer on a community Facebook page has had enough of choosing beggars, I bet. So, I need someone to clean my house. You must bring your own equipment and use your own gas to get here. I will not pay you for your time and energy. <laughs> I don't care how much your equipment costs. You're gonna do this for free. I don't care if you only charge five dollars. I shouldn't have to pay for something that I could do myself. Fair? That's how it sounds when someone wants an image without a watermark, and I quote, why should I pay five dollars for one of your images when I can just use my phone? Hmm, 
Why did you contact someone else to do it if you can just do it with your phone, did you? My daughter and granddaughter need a cat for free, but if you lecture me about not being able to afford cat expenses, then you're a self-righteous upper-class person, okay? <laughs> Hi, all. I'm in need of a cat for my daughter and granddaughter. <coughs> What? How? How is that a need? They don't have the money to go to a shelter, but are in need. Huh? So please tag me if anyone's giving away a cat or kitten. Either is great. My daughter and granddaughter will be so grateful. Thank you all in advance. Keep in mind there are many consistent expenses beyond adoption fees for any pet. Food, litter, vet visits, it all adds up. Pets are awesome, but make sure that they aren't budget busters because they deserve proper care and nutrition. We were aware, ands, outs, months of thought into this. Thank you. Self-righteous upper-class person. Like my granddaughter doesn't deserve a cat or an animal. No, no one just deserves a pet, all right? I'm sure you've thought about this, but mm, I don't know. A cat isn't a need. A dog isn't a need. Uh, none of these animals are a need, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you can't afford the adoption fee? How the f*** are you gonna afford keeping that animal in good health and treating it well? Oh, you're not. You think it's a toy. Dude wants a 70% discount because he was bullied in high school and has heartburn. <laughs> you know what? That's fair, man. All right, what's for sale? An S22 Ultra? Okay. Is this available? Yes, it is. Thank you. I was wondering if I could get a discount. I know that you've probably gotten that a lot, but for what it's worth, I'm a good dude who's had a hard life. Why do they care? I was relentlessly bullied through high school and was given several punishment haircuts by my stepfather. Bullied by the jocks, never went to prom, etc. Recently, my landlord raised my rent by $300 a month, and I'm barely scraping by. I have chronic indigestion that makes it hard to work, and I can't eat tomato-based products. Okay. I'm looking for the S22 Ultra. Seems like a great phone, and I'm not trying to get some cheap Metro PCS entry-level thing that's super slow. I know you're asking 700, which is a bit high, is considering you can get them new for 900 on Amazon. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, 200 bucks off ain't anything. Oh yeah, that's not even a discount, dude. Would you take 250? No. I could pay you weekly or trade for labor. I work on cars if you need anything done. Let me know. Well, at least he offered something that could actually be useful in the end there. 250 bucks plus you can rebuild my transmission. How about that? Save me 10 billion dollars. So what does the fresh photographer get? Hello, photographers. Any chance y'all want to collaborate on some fresh photo shoots? Looking to spray tan the model a few days before and then can do the makeup. Hmm. What's your budget? I can post in my photographer group. If you're looking for a newer, less expensive photographer, I'm looking for a few great photo shoots that I'll offer free tan and makeup for their model. Need some new work for my site as well as work with some fresh photo- Why do you keep saying fresh photographers? Oh, no, I know what you're doing. You're looking for people that are still pretty green, pretty new in the business so that you can take advantage of them and have an easier time telling them that they're not worth money. Picky, picky, picky. All for the low price of $4,500 a month. Oh boy. Got a one bedroom apartment. Uh, no smoking, no pets, no guests, no parties, no loud conversation, no mental health problems. You're never going to find a renter anywhere on earth. Nobody under 45, oh my god. No facial hair, no traffic violations. How the hell are you gonna figure that one out? Background check, credit check, must have two jobs. No toilet flushes, or sorry, only toilet flushes between 9 a.m. and 7.35 p.m. No snow, are you sharing this apartment with the person? Huh? Vegan diets, no, this is totally fake. Vegan diets only, no. No flashy rims. I'm sorry, this is <coughs> fake. There's no way in hell. Five year lease. Pet deposit required until trust is gained through many tests. Through many tests? Okay, Jigsaw, what kind of tests we going through? I'm a huge fan, good work. Would love it if you heart and pin my comment. I also said to pin it, idiot. You're a little <coughs> Free pizza isn't good enough. What, yes it is. For the random acts of kindness day, I went to my friend's business and prepaid for five free personal cheese pizzas for the public. She was happy. I was happy. She tells me the first family that came had two children get two cheese pizzas. When she told them they were covered by a stranger for the holiday, they asked to get pepperoni instead. A dollar more. She went ahead and did it after the lady fussed and threatened to just leave altogether. What's that saying about no good deed going unpunished? <laughs> oh, I will always do stuff anonymously because I really don't need someone to let me know how ungrateful people can be. Game developing YouTuber Polymars gets an interesting DM. Hey, can you help me with my game? Sure, what's up? I have an idea to make the scariest psychological horror RPG. I just need 
devs for scripting, 3D modeling, character dev, and story development. I want it to be multiplayer and single player, so please be mature and knowledgeable in that certain topic. If you can help with other aspects like modeling, please DM me. I hope to make this a big game. FYI, this project is for fun. Daily reminder that 99% of people have no grasp on how video games are made. <laughs> I don't think any... I, hell, I don't even think people that work in the industry have any idea how they get made sometimes. Alright? I do love this guy's message, though. Hey, I need literally an entire development team to do all the work and make something for me, including making the story, even though you have a great idea for it. And then they say, oh, and please do this, this, and this, as if the person has agreed to it already. <laughs> off. All right, let's see. Do any trades? Sure, for what? My son said he'll give you his six-month-old bull mastiff puppy for it? What? Oh, Looking for chickens to eat for survival must be purebred and expensive. What? <laughs> Me and my mom used to raise chickens and wanting to do it again, since times are very hard just for the moment. Oh, excuse me. So we don't have much money, and this would be our main food source. How? No, really, how? you're asking for chickens to be your main food source. Are you only going to eat eggs? Or are you only going to eat chicken once every however the hell? How are you planning on doing this? Seriously, I don't even want to know. If you're wanting them as your main food source, why would they have to be purebred? Because they think it means something. I don't want to put in the work for this free item. So I know someone who will charge you. Wait, what? Is this still available? Yeah. Is free, yes? Yes, all free, but would need dismantling. I have people who can dismantling a bath that will charge you for that if it's okay for you. If you're paying for it. No, I just won't to pick up. So you want me to pay for it to be dismantled? Yes. Have fun with that one, pal. Sure, ask help from random people and pay them peanuts. Definitely not a recipe for disaster. Hey, I'm trying to find a babysitter at night for my daughter. She's a year old, and my son that is a newborn, I'm trying to pay 200 every two weeks. How many hours a week? 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. But I work four days a week. I'll know more when I go in tomorrow. So around 44 hours per week. Sorry, $100 for two kids, one being a baby, is not enough for that amount of hours. Oh, you could have kept going. There's so much more wrong with this. After an approved quote and the work was completed. Hi, thanks for following this up and apologies for the late payment. <sighs> Blankety blank has shared the invoice with me. I'm the pair and haven't got to it until now. That's a pretty aggressive hourly rate, but I'll pay it if you're happy to reskin our business card design with black background on the side with our names and leaving the color pattern side as it is, please. Repayment. You'll have the funds in your account by Thursday morning at the latest. Thanks very much. Excuse me? If you respond with, is it available, you're showing your work ethic and I won't respond. Okay, uh, what's going on? Let's see here. Rental location. Efficiency setup as the home is being rebuilt. Helping to rebuild is part of the deal. Short-term three-month max max stay, single male preferred, no hard drugs, no BS, with the amount of responses, tell me about yourself, why I should consider you. 10 hours per week labor required. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get this straight. You're rebuilding a house. It's completely bare. You want to charge someone $400 a month and 10 hours a week labor to live in a concrete box. Is that what I'm getting here? Am I reading into this incorrectly? Or is it just help me rebuild this house and uh, instead of paying you, I'll charge you $400 a month for your labor. I'm so confused at how stupid this person is. What's your biggest red flag in a funding group? When someone posts what they want and someone else in the comments saying, you know I found this one and it does the same for cheaper. Thank you for your input, Karen, but I want this one, thank you. Couple asking for money over Instagram after using their funds to move for a religious school? We're pregnant and having a monkey emoji? We moved to Florida and are full-time Jesus school students. Is that what it's called? We're experiencing the beginning stages of revival, spending hours in the presence of the Lord, weekly evangelism, mission trips, amazing teachings, and so much more. We're in desperate need of financial support, and we're believing the Lord for $3,500. This will cover rent this month, baby appointments and groceries. Anything you feel led to give is truly appreciated. Okay, let's get them to work for free while they're still young and eager. Ah, we call that child labor. Let's see. Oh wait, no, it's not child labor in this case. It's just younger people that don't know that they're worth a lot more yet. Okay. I need student volunteers for an event in Islamabad? Islamabad? Uh, they should be available on the 26th of February for the whole day. Looking for responsible creative girls and boys, 18 to 25. 
You will not be paid, but it's an opportunity to learn a lot and make contacts. You will make zero contacts, and this will literally never help you ever again. <laughs> You'll be working directly for me. So that's the end result of exposure. Scene. A designer talking with a prospective client. Me. The price for the project we're talking about will be blank total. Client. Really? I had another designer work on this for me last year, and he did it for free. I'm sorry. I can't work for free. You may want to try going back to him and seeing if he'll do it for free again this year. I can't. He's no longer in business. Huh. I wonder the actual hell why. <laughs> Uh, that person definitely was not thinking when they said that, were they? It's so hard to understand why they seem to be having employee retention issues. Needed. Full and part-time salespersons who won't quit after two days, weeks, or months, who works hard, takes pride in their work, cares, and doesn't think they're... You know what, why is this always the description for, like, I don't know, cashier work? You know? Like, oh, you've gotta take pride in your work. And I'm, and I'm not saying that if you are a cashier, you shouldn't take pride in what you do. Things like that. You can take pride in anything that you do. But the fact the fact that employers require you a lot of the time to take pride and be a member of the family and don't whine and blah 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 when it's a job chill it's a job tell your friends and family please do not apply if you oversleep have no alarm clock have no car have court often have no babysitter every day have to give friends rides to work later than we start work experiencing flat tires every week hold on to a cell phone all day get food poisoning dead should not expect to receive purple ribbons or gold stars for showing up to work on time bitch your generation invented that can you do my pictures for free hello well i cannot do that unfortunately also not sure what you mean by pictures but it is not realistic to ask an artist to work for free especially in these times thank you for inquiring but i can work with you for peace whatever go away ripoff oh my god going to art school wasn't cheap go hell yeah go hell your art really sucks and you're going to block cheap ass Oh no! I lost a non-paying customer! <gasps> this person wants my Roblox account for free. I have like $40 on my account. Okay, let's see. Do you have an account I can use, please, sir? I only have one. I'm really struggling with mine. Okay, that will work. Is it good? Like, you know, rich or something? Huh? I mean, can I have the account? I'm really struggling to get an account. Then create a new one. I don't have Robux. My dad and mom are not buying me Robux. Why did you say no? He's saying that he wants my account. Bro, come on. It's not that big of a deal. Why do you want me to give him my account? He forgot his password. Dude, what is this? Hi, is this available? Where location? Yeah, it's available. Where location? Are too far, need bad. No delivery. Need car. Sounds like a personal problem. Dang, rude. Being honest, post clearly states no holds, no delivery. Well, judging on how he types, I doubt reading's a strong suit either. I'll be looking for childcare for my three kids four days a week. I get my schedule a month at a time, and I'm able to pay $150 a week. Pay is bi-weekly. I work 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., so roughly 5.30 to 2.30. They'd be with you. They're all boys, four in three weeks, two and one, the end of March. My two-year-old is autistic, so preferred someone who's experienced in that. N oh my god, this is the worst one. This is the worst one, because you have someone with special needs, you're asking just anyone. Sure, you say experienced in that. What you mean to say is someone who's actually got real training in that. Okay, that's a whole different thing. And you're only offering them 150 bucks a week to work that much with three kids, one of whom is special needs. Okay, honestly, best of luck to you with that. When your friend blocks you because you didn't give her money after your mom died. Hey, just saw your post, wanted to let you know I'm always here if you need to talk or be distracted, or if there's anything at all you need. I'm so sorry for your loss. Hey, I love you too, man. Thank you. If you wanted to add to the diaper fund on my registry, we would really appreciate that. What? Did you really unfriend me because I didn't send money to your registry? I mean, you can't really unfriend someone who was never your friend. That person's a demon. My local buy nothing group is wild. Disabled and unable to work. Asking for monthly help to help pay for a large storage unit until I can find a permanent home with adequate space and disability access. And also monthly help for things like my electricity, water, cable, internet, home phone, and home security, and monthly paid cell phone service. <clears throat> Not including gas and car insurance. I could also use a brand new Xbox Series X, a 65-inch TV, or TV projector and screen because I'm almost 50 and have never had a brand new anything in my life as an adult. The payments to pay for things can go straight to the companies instead of me. Jesus. Grown adult throws a tan tantrum on Facebook because his parents won't buy him an expensive Lego set. <laughs> I'm not saying he's right, I'm just saying I understand. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. My parents won't get me the new Lego Star Destroyer for Christmas. Why? They say I've got too much Lego. <laughs> 
They say it'll take up too much space. They say I'm too old for it. They say it's too expensive for a lump of plastic. Well, that can be the case a lot of the times there. Each of those statements is freaking bullcrap. If we put all the Lego I own into one room, it would barely fill a tenth of it. Oh, I doubt it. And it's not about having too much, it's that LEGO keeps bringing out new stuff and this is my hobby, okay? Everyone else is allowed to keep collecting all kinds of stuff like guitars, no one says they have too much. Why doesn't it apply to LEGO? Freaking hypocrites! And the age rating of the box is 16 plus! I don't see any age where you're not allowed to have this on the box. What? The too old argument is so stupid. You don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. As far as being too expensive for a lump of plastic, people spend thousands of freaking pounds on clothes and perfume. A little different. I mean, the perfume is one thing, but the clothes? Really? That's what you're going against? All they are is bits of cloth and some liquid. Again, I agree on the perfume. My cologne costs $100 a bottle, and it's a scam. I just like how it smells. And yet you're telling me this beautifully designed model made with premium material is too expensive? It doesn't make any sense! It doesn't make any sense! What's next? What's next? WHAT'S NEXT?! Jeez, this guy is off it. Hey, I need a place to live for free that's in the foothills where a bunch of Arizona Cardinals live. Please? This might be a long shot, but my fiance has always wanted to live in a house in the foothills on the side of a hill slash mountain. Does anyone happen to have a four bedroom plus house that they don't want to live in anymore? As we can stay in there for free for a bit again? I know that's a long shot, but it's worth a shot. 13 comments. Oh no, was it worth the shot? Was it worth a bunch of your friends telling you you're completely freaking insane? I ended up selling it for full price the next day. What's your lowest offer? 500, 315, not even close. I'm confused. Are you offering to buy it for 315? Yes, that's a big lowball offer. I'm asking 600 and I said the lowest I'd go is five. So why do you think I'd even consider 315? It's not even close to what I would take for it. It's all your, my friend. These days, nobody's spending that big amount of money. They always say that. Every time I sell something on Facebook Marketplace, I specifically say, uh, firm on price, straight up. Please don't send me an insulting offer for what I'm selling. And every single time, I get people offering less than 40% of the price I'm asking for. And I'm not that ridiculous, all right? I undersell crap on purpose because I know it's easier for me and for the dip <laughs> trying to get it. I want to go on vacation and should start saving, but also, uh, could you send me money for my vacation? So as many of you know, Blank and I have a cruise coming up in April. This is something we've been looking forward to, and for me anyways, what has really pushed me to keep going these last few months. We have to start saving up. Ha 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 laugh emojis. If anyone would like to help or get me an early birthday gift, since we'll be getting back five days before my birthday, we have things we still need to cover and would like to do. Examples. All three of us need new suitcase sets, and the airport fees for two bags are $70 each. Each way, you forgot. We haven't figured out how we're getting there. Someone suggested a parking area. It would cost $122, or we could take the Dartmouth coach and pay $210. I do find it weird that parking's cheaper than taking a coach. Service fees and the photo package are $336 and $199 for the three of us, coming to a total of $535. We also need cash for the ports. Any activities, food, tips, etc. For the cruise itself, tips, activities, we love a spa day, but that comes last. I started my new job yesterday, so I'm gonna work my butt off to get caught up and start saving, but at this point, anything helps. You're the worst at vacation planning ever. Oh yeah, we go on our cruise tomorrow and apparently haven't thought about literally any part of the trip at all. If hacking this boomer's account doesn't get me money, can I have your number instead? I need your help. How can I help you? I know this may sound crazy, but I think you can loan me $300 till tomorrow and I'll pay you with additional fee? Sorry, I wish I could, but unfortunately I can't. How about two or 100 right now? No. Okay, send me your number. No. <laughs> what? And you don't have to say I wish I could. You could just say, no, not gonna do that, man. I don't want your free item. I want your address. Hey, where are you located? Here? Where in here? Near here? Never mind, I need to get the address, not the store near you. Why? Haley with the deal of a lifetime. Try not to have a stroke while reading. <coughs> Okay, here we go. The one in the picture looks like mine works perfectly, nothing wrong, just sit want new one. I do bought one, my old one, be outside for free, but they so expensive, so trading mine for somebody else. Yours has to be a little bit better looking than mine, plus you have to come get mine since I give you mine for yours, cause don't got the money to buy one. 
got to save for future, plus don't got much right now, plus you have to deliver. I don't drive, so you have to deliver. I genuinely don't know what you're looking for. I'm sorry. My neighbor asked me to watch her one-year-old this week because I'm currently at home with my daughter. She knows full well I'm not a daycare and don't receive subsidies. I'm furious. Okay, I'll let her know in terms of fees. I know that home daycare is cheaper, and eventually in 2025, it'll be $10 a day for both in-home and regular daycare options. Thank God. I have no idea what the going rate is now for home daycare. I just did a quick look online to see this website that shows $23.60 per day. I think $20 a day would work for us. We would bring her bottle as well as favorite toys and snacks. Okay. Thank you for considering me. Yes, parents are paying about $20 a month, but the government is paying the remaining 30, and in the future, the government will pay more because it is subsidized. I don't get paid by the government. I don't think I can do $2.50 an hour. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass. You're furious? Man, I don't wanna see you any more than furious. Four professional coders wanted for 18 to 30 weeks with no guaranteed pay. It'll totally be worth it though. I need four professional code writers that can build sophisticated app and social platform. Hard work for an extended amount of time, 18 to 30 weeks, and no pay up front or guarantee of outcome or pay. But I can almost assure you it'd be worth it. You can almost assure me. Wow, that is, that's really assuring. If it's a success, probably will be, you will be compensated with pizza or something. Take a loss because I have to drive a long ways to get it. Would you be willing to meet halfway in Ann Arbor? Would you accept 170? Just as a starting offer, what would your bottom dollar be? 225, 190? That's literally not what I f said. Are you willing to do any less? I'd have to drive quite a bit and that's gonna be at least a hundred dollars in gas. I doubt that so hardcore, it's insane. There is nothing wrong, as I've said before, with saying, hey, you know, you're pretty far away from here. Are you okay with meeting up in this town or something like that? That's totally fine. I am willing to meet you halfway. I've met people when I'm selling stuff before. Totally normal. But I don't think it's worth taking less than my lowest offer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It's not going to be like that. Oh, ridiculous. I had some dude ask me to pay for his gas. No, Facebook Marketplace literally shows you where I'm located within a certain area. And you have the balls to complain about how far away I am. Read the post. Ah, I'm still a student. I don't really have a set payment and I normally would ask others how much they think the lesson is worth. I'd be grateful to pay 40 euros monthly for one hour class five times a week. So you're asking for five classes a week, four weeks, for 40 euros. It's the price my teachers ask for my kids in the Philippines. That's affordable for long-term classes and not only for one month. Fuck off. When CBs get angry and tell you that you've lost their business. Oh no! You've just lost yourself a customer. Sorry, what? You've just lost yourself a customer! I feel bad for the dog already. Does anyone know where I can get a dog about six months to a year old that's already house trained? and will grow to be a medium-sized dog? You want a six-month to one-year-old dog that's not done growing? Maybe a husky, golden retriever, chocolate lab, etc., or a mix? We don't want to go through the whole application thing. I really don't like people that think of animals as decoration or toys, because you know that's exactly what these people think. Rihanna got paid zero dollars to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show by the NFL, but did it for exposure for her brand. Over 28.5 million people watched her Super Bowl halftime show. Think about this the next time you're too big to work for exposure. I'm, I'm sorry, she can afford to work for exposure. She's ridiculously successful. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Rihanna's worth $1.4 billion as of 2023. And you're going to compare that to Joe Blow photographer on Facebook who barely makes a grand a month because <laughs> like you think it's okay to com complain about people charging for their work. Oh my God. And I'm sure that that number for Rihanna is definitely inaccurate because Googling people's net worth is insane. I'm pretty sure if you Googled my net worth, it says I'm worth like a million dollars, which, oh my God, so wrong. But dude, $1.4 billion? And look right there, it says one. Point seven. Wow! Not even remotely normal! Cost efficiency, bro. All right, Bruno. I found an engineer that would mix and master for 60 bucks. I might stick with him. Cost efficiency. Hey, sure. I'll keep the files for a few months in case you change your mind. Ready to start whenever. Can you do it for 40? I need you, man, and you've heard the song. Ton on business mindset. In the long run with royalties, this song will make you much more than $140. <laughs> That's probably not true. The song has so much potential and you know it. Screw you and your ears. You clearly don't have business mindset. 
cock you think you do? You're just saying words. Well, isn't she a keeper? So friggin' livid. Need to vent, whoever knows me. Please don't even judge me, not in the mood. So today my man brings me a gift. A nice Tiffany & Co. bag. I thought, ooh, something pricey, something nicey. I open it, and there's a ring. Now, it was no engagement ring, but instead a promise ring. I faked a smile and gave him a kiss. Whatever. Real reason I'm mad is I went home, and at the bottom of the bag was the receipt. I'm assuming in case the ring didn't fit or needed exchanging. <laughs> but I got home to check the receipt, and it was $70. So freaking mad that he thinks that's all I'm worth. Tomorrow, I'm refunding it myself. He needs to leave you, but I only have $800. They told me the rent was $900, but when I offered $800, they persisted on telling me that was $900. To be fair, we should be doing this to landlords more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It's only $1,800. This is a super long shot, but I've never been to a concert, and I absolutely love Morgan Wallen, Bailey Zimmer. Are those real people? Who the hell are they? <laughs> and would love for them to be my first concert ever. I always said if I can't afford good seats, what's the point of even going? Oh, here we go. That being said, hit tickets are 686 a person, and the hubby wants to go just as much as I do, plus insurance on the two tickets, in case anything happens and we can get refunded, which I would 100% give back to anyone who has donated. Total comes to around 1800. Holy goddamn Christ. May I add that we've been married for two years and just had our second baby. Oh, I don't give a crap. No more than two years old. Do you go into your garage slash bedroom and see an elliptical machine you don't want or need anymore that you've purchased no more than two years ago? DM me. I'd love to take it off your hands and make room for something that brings you more joy. Interesting. I mean, you know what's funny? There are probably a crap ton of people that are like, oh, we've got to get rid of this elliptical. We've got to get rid of this treadmill or this stationary bike. I don't even want to bother selling it. I mean, look at this piece of crap. I'm sure there are a lot of people that would straight up give you that. But the fact that you put a time limit or an age limit on it? Yucky, dude. Ew.